you're somebody that struggles to get back spin on your shots and you'd like to know some useful tips in order to be able to get maximum back spin with minimum effort, then this video will show you how. What I see a lot of beginners and people that are just starting the, the game do when they're trying to get screw back is they'll make a few fundamental errors. Sometimes you'll see them with the butt of their cues up in the air, trying to almost dig down on the ball, which really, all that does is it skids the white into the red and you won't get any reaction off the white ball, or very minimal. And other times I'll see players that think they're hitting low on the cue ball, but actually they're just under center. So here's, here's a few ways of enabling yourself to get good screw back. So the first thing I'd say is your bridge hand. Make sure that instead of it being up here, you want it to be nice and flat with the groove between your finger and your thumb so that the cue is going through really level, not up here, not down here. Everything is nice and horizontal, nice and flat, so that then you can get right to the bottom of the white ball and push through. And just practice a nice close in shot. So the white ball is very close to the red. Pause and through. Just so that you can get used to the spin, how you play the shot, because it's all about timing. Nice and low. So you want to be aiming to, instead of hitting at the ball, just time it. What I mean by that is one, two, three, back, pause, two. And I'll show you that again. So if you imagine it's almost like a, you're putting your foot on the accelerator on your car. Everything, everything should be in one motion. So you get back, you pause, you come through, and then you're at maximum acceleration when you hit the cue ball. So everything nice and low. I'm really horizontal. I'm playing right at the bottom of that white. Pause, and then through. And the more you practice, obviously, the more you'll improve. And then you can start moving the white ball further back. Everything is the same, you line the shot up, you get down, you make sure that your bridge is nice and flat so you can get low to the cue ball. And one, two, three, back, through. And what you'll find is that as you get better, you'll see that you're hardly hitting with any real power, you're just timing the ball a lot better. Pause. <coughs> and so as you improve, you can start moving the cue ball back, so making the distance between the two balls greater. And you'll find that with practice, you end up hardly hitting the white ball. You're just timing it. And the white ball is coming back with minimal effort. So once again, the three things to remember. The bridge hand, make sure that it's nice and low. So that enables the tip of your cue to get nice and low on the white ball. Your back hand, and the cue and the bridge all need to be flat to the table or as flat as you possibly can. There's no point being up here because that will impede you and you don't want to be up there, you don't want to be down there, of course. So nice and flat. And then the final thing is pause before you deliver the cue and try and come through in a smooth motion, accelerating at the moment of impact on the cue ball. So once again, Bridge hands low, everything's level. I'm hitting at the bottom of the white. I come back, pause, 
and through. And once you're really confident, so you can get the white ball and the object ball pretty much the distance of the pool table apart, and everything is the same. Nice and low, pause, and through the cue ball. I hope this helps. Um, let me know if you've got any questions or if you're struggling with screw back in any way, and uh, good luck.